What's up everybody, Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights on Space Engineers, working on the Black Pearl Project again today. Um, for those of you that may not understand what's going on on my channel, I'll try and clear it up as we build here. Ooh. Frames. All the lights and stuff in this build are getting really, really taxing. They did update it to the 64-bit version, which makes it run a little bit smoother, but I think it's just my project that I'm working on here. Like, this has just got... And, and <clears throat> it sounds funny, but, it, excuse me, it's these it's these lights and stuff, too, that there's just... They have to have vertices and data calculations and everything for every single block, and these count as a block. So they don't look like much, but they end up being uh, kind of taxing. Like, some of you may have remembered when I filled half of the floor with a ton of lights and it almost broke it. Everything was like chugging. And then you take half of those lights off and you're like, oh, I can move again, you know. So it's just kind of the same thing. Um, but yeah, so first let's go over what we're going to do today. I, w I want to fill in this area with something. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I don't really have any images to work with as to what the interior looked like. I remembered it had a brig um, just from remembering the movie. Unfortunately, I don't really remember what else was down here. I don't even know if it had three decks or not. It might have only had the two and had the brig separated up there and I, I, we're winging this. Um, this is kind of an inspiration more than a exact tutorial build. It's not like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've taken hours and hours and already have built the ship and now I'm showing you how to do it. This is just kind of me. I wanted to build the Pearl and I'm kind of, again, not the best builder in the world. So when things like this happen where I'm not sure what's what or I have more space than I'm supposed to, you know, you make lemonades out of lemons. Um, now I'm wondering if we can use these new motor mechanics in some way. I don't know how yet. Um, but I think it'd be I think it'd be cool if we could figure out something. I don't have any ideas, so if you guys do, let me know in the comments what ideas you might have for the motors. Um, aside from things like putting propellers or props on it or something like that cuz, you know, the ship didn't have those, so we're not going to do that, but interior or something I don't know some something interesting that we can come up with until then we're going to redo our hot bar here so I've got small crates I won't need large crates <clears throat> I think I'm gonna place some of these things around here though just to make it look like it does something and eventually they will and so if somebody wants to use this uh, ship what else can we use they might need it to look like that or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> is that all the machinery they had? I thought there was more than that. I thought there was more than three. Maybe it was the boxes I was thinking of. We can't put one of these. This is too big. We might be able to throw some power cells around here almost like... um, Almost like the boxes, the crates that we threw around in the upper one. I think that'll be enough. Alright, so let's put functional stuff up here. Maybe? Um, we might want to turn this on. Oh, this guy I don't think we could use, could we? Because he was too big. What is this one anyway? Is this a three? It's got to be a three if it won't fit in here. Oops. What's going on? Up. Up. Been away. Let's go. What am I stuck on? Come on, stupid mechanics. Fly. Okay. Was it four? So, it's not a three. It just doesn't want to go. Wait, did I just... I did just break that. Sorry. Um, and I do kind of apologize for the frame rate. Whoa. Okay. That is the uh, speedy escalator down, I guess. I do apologize for the frame rate. Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. It's just the more I build... Oh, 
it is not three by three, but it's two. Okay. So what we'll do... Give me these. What we'll do is remove a few of these guys right here. So that we can put this guy down. Maybe we'll put it like here. Um, and we can add. Nope. Nope. Dang it. Crap. Um. Okay. So that's there. That works, I think. And what we might do, just for some extra lighting, can we put stuff on this? Yeah, we'll do. Th oh, let's do vertical lighting. Since everything else has horizontal, it'll kind of give us some different differential stuff. That's a that's the clinical term too, differential stuff. Okay, so that works. Um, let's see what else. Let's put one of the. What is this thing? Assembler. I don't know if this is supposed to be vertical or. Ooh, let's do it that way. So, um, but looked like this. This looks more like... It's probably supposed to be like this, actually. Just like that's not supp supposed to be sideways. I'm just looking at the keypad. I don't, I don't know. I give up. We're putting it like here, I think. And then... Let's see... Six. Medical bay. Let's put the med bay thing like here. Or something. No, that doesn't. I'm just gonna try and put like a light on the door, but that didn't want to work right. Why can't I put? Why can't I put one there? Weird. I guess you just can't attach lights to a med bay. Okay, well that's annoying. Um, so now I think I want to just start kind of scattering some of these reactors around so that it doesn't look the same as um, the upstairs portion essentially is all I'm, all I'm really trying to establish here um, because the the upstairs one has the storage crates which is fine but we need something to fill this floor in so it kind of looks like it's something and not just here. Um, but we don't really want to reinvent the wheel and duplicate the same thing twice. You know, then it starts looking repetitive, so... I'm thinking if we put, like, some power units here... Again, not really that they're required, but I mean, the ship can always use more power, but the other problem is this also adds to mass, so we may have to tweak the engines downstairs a little bit more. Unfortunately, I hadn't really thought about that, but all these crates and boxes and, and stuff that we're adding... Oh, that's too close to the, the door. Let's not put that there. Um, all these crates and boxes and things that we're adding kind of end up... Um, adding to the overall mass of the ship, which in turn makes it move slower and heavier and all that. So um, we'll need to... And I'm just... I have found if you really want something to look random, then just be random. I, I know that sounds funny, but most of the time when someone tries to do a random pattern, it ends up having a pattern. And you can kind of see a pattern here. Like, you know, I'm... I'm putting one on top and, you know, stuff like that, but when you see a pattern like that, just do something different. You know, it doesn't have to be symmetrical and make sense if you're if you're trying to do random things. Um, like that, you know, just do shapes you haven't done before. And it improves the randomness. So something like this. Let's see if let's look at our end result here. It's not bad. It looks like it belongs. Cargo. Um, 
let's put one along here, maybe. Yeah, like that. Okay. Or seven. Um, and I'm not going to fill this all up, because when you come down from here, you're going to want to be able to get to this stuff easily, so I don't want to block that pathway. This is not tall enough, so we need to add some blocks that have some height. Again, trying not to duplicate some of my patterns that I had already done, you end up um, kind of messing some things up. Something like this. There we go. Um, let's put a couple right here, too, just to... Just to break up the pathway and all that. So it's not, you know, beautiful or anything, but it serves a purpose and it kind of... I don't know. I like it. It I, There's not enough blocks. Like, I'm sure as the game progresses, if they start adding more functional blocks, um, we could replace some of these power cells and things with actual blocks. But in the meantime, you know, we've got our cannons, our crew quarters type of thing, storage, and weaponry. And then you've got kind of the engine room, if you will, with your um, medical down in the bottom. I don't know how they would actually do that. I don't know if you'd want medical closer to the top or if you'd want it closer to the bottom. Bottom would probably be safer from cannon fire, but more susceptible to um, things like uh, flooding and whatnot. So it looks like next time we'll probably be working on the captain's quarters, I'm thinking. I just wanted to get in the ship real quick and um, kind of move it. Oh, the frames. Oh, wow. Wow, frames are bad right now. Are these going to clear up? Oh, wow. I apologize for that. Usually... Usually my computer can handle stuff. It is not handling this very well. Okay, so it still moves pretty good. It's not... What am I at? Ten? I'm doing this by number. So, yeah. It's moving pretty good. So I don't think we need to do too much on the... The movement thing. Let me see. Okay, what would happen if we turn these beacons and stuff off? Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to try. Since you can name beacons, what happens if you just... Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so for this... Wait a minute. It's not awesome. They don't glow. I don't think. Or is that my... Um, those aren't glowing either. So is that just a eyeball thing? That those aren't glowing without names? Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do another one that way. Okay, so they start. Oh, you know what it is? I think they're- are they off? Yeah, they're off. Okay, that's why they're not glowing. This way, um, it does still <coughs> excuse me, it does still have the little icon. Why are there so many doors? Oh, cells. I was like, how are there that many doors? I don't remember placing that. Um, gravity generator 1 and 2. Interior lights. I don't know if turning any of these off will help. Wow, there's over 500 lights in the ship. That's intense. Refinery. So that did improve it a little bit. Yeah, but if you'll notice, it's got the little boxes around them, but I don't have the, the names. Oh, man. So I apologize for the, the terrible frames. We're just not going to use that as much. Um, that's just, this build is getting, 
Um, this is kind of part of the reason I didn't want to do something as big as, like, say, a Star Destroyer or something, is because I was afraid this might happen, that, um, my computer is a fairly good rig with its graphics card and stuff, but it's not, um, uh, in the RAM department. Oh! The cannons are tilting! That's not good. I guess that's because of the speed? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that could be a problem. <laughs> hmm, that might be a problem. Um, you know what would fix it probably is having a landing gear back here as well to hold it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to do multiple. But these are magnetics? But see, this is holding and this isn't, so it makes me think... It's kind of making me think that if I put a few extra landing gears... We have a little bit of time, maybe we'll work on that. Oh. I don't... Oh, nope. I don't have any thrusters, but I can just rotate them. Oh, I have the gyro on it. Okay. Now this would be interesting that since they kind of float like this, it's like, Captain, I can't get a shot! You know, that would be kind of funny. Although that could pose... Oops, I unlocked it. Don't do that. That could kind of pose problems later, though. So what we're going to try... So let's go off of this. Or actually, no, let's go off of that. one just do something like that where's the gear and that's probably another thing that's really causing lag is the um yeah I know what I'm thinking the um guns and the hammocks are all small ships so there's a lot of ships inside this ship 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 shipception try and say that three times fast um, something like that kind of do this same. wow frames stop it it's weird it's like if I look at certain angles it's fine and then if I look at other ones it's terrible Or you know what? We could just do this. Maybe. Nah. Nah, we'll, we'll keep it. But what we will do is put this here to match. Although that doesn't match at all. Oh! Dang it. Fly. Fly. Thank you. Um, so that doesn't match at all. So let's... Oh, and this won't work either. Dang it. Alright, back to the original plan. Or actually, <laughs> I know I've changed this like nine times already. It's a three block, so let's go out from here. And go like this. Let's do that. That way, that way it'll look the same on both sides. Um, where did I come off of? There. Okay. No. Stop it. That. There we go. And now, let's go like this. Which way is it? That way? That way. Right. Like so. Okay, and now let's kind of just wiggle this around. Oh, come on. It's weird just working on the gyros and no thrusters. Okay. Now, 
As much as the frames are terrible, I do need to take this guy on a little bit of a test run just to make sure that the extra landing gears won't tip him also. So let's see if we can't watch him. See, you're seeing the other ones move, but that guy's not. So that's what we needed. Oh man, the frames are so bad right now. So that is what we needed. We just needed some extra stability for the cannon. Um, so I'm probably going to end the episode here and go through and do that off camera. I may actually just uh, delete all of these and um, copy all these type of thing. But so anyways, I think we're going to end it here. And next episode... We'll probably end up working on the captain's cabin thing here. Wait, is it here? Oh, I've got to carve out some kind of entry up into there. I don't know. This is this is kind of a mess. Like this really isn't how it's supposed to look. Um, unfortunately, once again, to build the shape of the ship, I ended up with leftover um, room. So. Like, this really probably shouldn't be here. This should be the captain's cabin, but the captain's cabin should also have a window which is up in here. Uh, in this area. Oops. Oops. Come on. Come on. So, this is, like, how the cabin should kind of look, but, um, yeah, I don't have a means to get up here yet, so... Not sure what we're going to do. We'll figure it out, though. What is that there for? Nothing. Accident, I guess. Okay. I'm wondering if we can actually, like, take that back, even though it's supposed to be this far, like the, the helm is supposed to be past this. I'm wondering if we can just dial this back a bit type of thing, and then just walk up into the, the captain's cabin type of deal. Um, so we'll work on that next episode, though. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!